In the field of computer vision, successfully modeling scenes from natural language requires the successful recall of the relevant characters, objects, and setting, arranging these entities at plausible locations and scales, and positioning these entities for correct and consistent interactions with one another, all as a result of understanding and translating a natural language description into plausible visual proof. To meet this goal, we've created the Composition, Retrieval, and Fusion Network, or CRAFT, a model capable of learning this knowledge from video caption data and applying it to generate new videos from custom captions. Given a caption, Craft sequentially composes a scene layout and retrieves entities from a video database to create complex scenes. Craft consists of three parts, the layout composer, the entity retriever, and the background retriever. Each part is a neural network that is trained independently using ground truth supervision. The Layout Composer is responsible for generating a plausible layout of the scene consisting of the locations and scales of each character and object mentioned in the scene description. The task of the Entity Retriever is to find a spatiotemporal patch within a target database that matches an entity in the description and is consistent with the video constructed thus far. The task of the Background Retriever is to find a background scene that matches the setting described in the description. At inference time, Craft begins with an empty video and adds entities in the scene sequentially based on the order of appearance in the description. Alternating between the layout composer and the entity retriever allows the model to condition the layout of entities on the appearance and vice versa. Finally, the retrieved spatiotemporal entity segments and background are fused to generate the final video. To develop and demonstrate the Craft network, we built Flintstones, a densely annotated video dataset based on the Flintstones animated series. Flintstones consists of over 25,000 densely annotated videos, each 75 frames long. In these examples of craft-generated videos, the input description to the video is shown with the characters, objects, and settings highlighted. These videos demonstrate the success of the layout composer in placing entities at plausible locations relative to one another, and the background retriever in placing the characters in the right setting, even when this requires a moving background. Note the correct placement of the red hat on top of Fred's head, the background moving consistent with Fred's motion, how Betty and Wilma are facing each other when having a conversation, and how Pebbles is correctly facing toward the TV. These additional examples highlight interactions between characters and objects, and the layout composer's ability to put objects in a plausible location relative to the characters, including a mustache on Fred's face, and a phone in Betty's hand at head level. All of the components of craft can fail in various scenarios. In these examples, the entity and background retrievers have made selections that are inconsistent with the input description. The entity retriever can also manage to retrieve the correct character, but place them in a pose that's inconsistent with the information in the description. The ordering of entities placed in the scene can also result in an implausible appearance, in this case placing a bed on top of the characters in the scene. The layout composer and entity retriever can fail independently, in this case retrieving an instance of Wilma with her arms down and placing a phone that is too small relative to her in the scene. Longer, more complex sentences can result in multiple failures of the layout composer and entity retriever, resulting in poor quality videos. Currently, most approaches to conditionally generating visual data from text rely on learning distributions directly from pixels in the training data. We experimented extensively with whole video generation from text using these types of models with and without adversarial losses and found that our craft model had better performance. These approaches have shown impressive results for aligned images of objects such as faces, birds, and flowers. However, they are often inadequate for addressing the combinatorial explosion of the image space that can arise from multiple characters and objects arranged in a large number of possible layouts. The craft model is a first step toward using a multi-phase compositional approach to generate new scenes from language alone. Future work in this space could lead to advancements in media that allow imaginative scenes to be created from just a description, with potential applications in interactive education, communication, and entertainment. Learn more about our research at allenai.org.